Pendulum FTK, baby! Let's fucking... Let's go! Pendulum FTK, gameplay, going second against what is probably one of the most played decks that is absolutely garbage. I don't even know why people play it. That is Invoked. That is Invoked. Who the heck waited for Macedon for three years just to play Invoked? Who? Who? Anyways, whoever it is, it's about to get their ass OTK'd by the best deck. So we're playing Pan FTK, which is known as a deck that's only going first. Only good at going first. Well, guess what? Guess what? It's only good at going first, but we are about, we are about to OTK their ass going second. We're about to OTK their ass going second. So he's going to do what he wants, and I want you guys to see their interruptions, okay? So I'm going to pause on our turn. I'm going to pause. We draw, we draw, we draw. Pause. He has an Ash Blossom in hand. He has a Macabre effect. And he has a secondary hand trap that if you play the best deck is useless. He's playing DD Crow. Crazy against every deck except Pendulum. So, if you guys are ready for this greatness, you gotta stay tuned to the end of the video because we're gonna OTK through these and, the, and a huge floodgate against Pendulums. The craziest... I don't know why the heck this guy's even playing this card. Wait till you see what card he's playing set. Wait till you see this floodgate. We're gonna OTK through it all, bro. This is Pendulum gameplay. If you're new to Yu-Gi-Oh, new to Pendulums, new to Duel Links from TCG to Master or whatever, this is going to blow your mind and really teach you how to play Pendulums properly. On And who in the right fucking mind, in a best of one with no side decking, in all the decks invoked, decides to play unending fucking Nightmare in the main deck? Honestly, I the only person I would assume would play this would be someone with the three brain cell capacity of an Alistair player. So I'm not even surprised if I'm being honest. So he's going to pop my Curtain Razor. And do you know what Anony Nightmare does against Pendulums? It pops all my scales, continuous trap. You can't play. You can't play. You actually can't play. So I'm going to clap this guy up though because I got to get my revenge. So I'm going to OTK here through Makaba, through Ash Blossom, Anony Nightmare, and DD Crow. Four negates, on any nightmare counts as infinity negates. I'm going to OTK through infinity and three negates on top of that. Let's go. Why? Because they were playing the best deck. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I let him pop down my sure thing, bozo. Then I'm going to activate Astrograph on the pop of the Curtain Razor. He's going to ash it, thinking, all right, we good, we good, we good. Well, you're not good. You're not good. You're about to get destroyed. Next, I'm going to look at this. Easy bait. Easy bait. That's what you got to do. Bait them. Normal Joker. Negate with Makaba. No problem. Now I know the only card left in his hand is one Alistair. I also know that something was going around. Alistair, pen call. Look at this. At this point, on any nightmare, still got to deal with it. Guess what card deals on any nightmare? Pendulum call, baby. You cannot pop my scales while Pendulum call is on the field or is activated. So for all new players, utilize this to your advantage. We're using Pendulum call here to protect our scales from on any nightmare. I would love to scale my Astrograph because if I summon out Electromite, I, Electromite cannot pop my scales. So the only play here is the Pendulum Summon 4, right? It's our only play. But if you look at this at the moment, Electrum is a huge part of the way we built this deck in Master Duel. Electromite cannot resolve to pop our scales. So how are we going to be able to destroy this board? How are we going to be able to destroy this board? By signing up for the Patreon down in the description. That's exactly how we're going to destroy this board. We're going to go into D Supreme King Dark OTK their ass Rebellion. Because this right here is an OTK. Why think so hard to get pluses off Electrum and Starving Venom when this is why we play this card. We built this F Pan FTK to FTK going first, but to throw every single possible go second card in the extra deck and in the main deck to still be able to clear boards through four interruptions like this. Supreme King Dark OTK your ass. Attack Macabre for 5,000 damage via its effect. Astrograph, finish him. Bozo, see you later. Through four interruptions with a pen with an FTK deck. We're playing an FTK deck that is supposedly only good going first. Not in my books, bro. Not in my books. Now, if you guys want to see this deck profile, you guys are gonna need to smash the subscribe button right now. I don't know if you smash the subscribe button or not, but I'm gonna show you guys the deck list anyways. Let's go. So now I'm gonna showcase you guys the deck list that we used. For this incredible deck, my pen FTK deck, which is truly insane. Here is the deck list. We made it so going first, we could FTK extremely easily. The way you FTK with this deck is you always start off with Electromite. Uh, your opponent will hand trap the Electromite all the time because Electromite, they don't know you're playing an FTK. This is the beauty of playing an FTK in a best of one format 
they don't know you're playing the FTK until you already FTK'd their ass. So all their hand traps are going to be used on your first play. So like Joker, Allure, Penka, Alliance, all this stuff is baiting hand traps. And then when Electrum comes out, if they don't Valor or Imperm the Electrum, they don't have Valor or Imperm. At that point, if they Valor or Imperm the Electrum, it's already too late for them. You Pendulum summon five monsters, you go into Verte Anaconda, you go into two Starving Venoms, Verte Anaconda with Instant Fusion brings out Lyrilus Independent, whoop their ass in Gale, and then Starving Venom copies its effect, which does 4k damage uh, with Starving Venom because its effect says burn five times this level star. Because Starving Venom is level 8, it'll do 4,000 damage. Because you have two of them, it'll do 8,000 damage. Going second, going second, the reason why it's so powerful going second is you still literally do this FTK going second. So you just literally, after you clear all their interruptions, even if you can only put up one Starving Venom through the board, you still, the Starving Venom also gains attack. So it'll also be 6,800 attack. Whereas it also does 4,000 damage and this is 4,500 damage in total. Making it so their life points is at 3,500. And you're going to have some crazy board of a 6,800 attack monster. Plus some other stuff on board as well going second. The list is super, 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 super clean. Super clean list. And Astrograph works very well with Black Fang and Pearl Poison. Especially going second. Going second with double Black Fang and Astrograph Turbo. You're able to use Black Fang to, uh, as well as Time Star to flood the graveyard for Black Fang. You could summon black monsters with Black Fang out like literally like three different times in one turn, which is absolutely absurd. Absolutely absurd how you could abuse Black Fang and Poison with Astrograph. They were made to be abused with Astrograph. That's why you're playing doubles. So Astrograph could add them and literally just abuse them. Oath adds back to Black Fang and you abuse Black Fang three times in one turn. Uh, and that's it for the deck. Uh, lastly, Pensork and Wisdom Eye being and Dragon Pit. And Oath Dragon. Them being non-dark doesn't matter. Because Verde Anaconda uh, turns them dark. Making it so you can still FTK their ass into Oblivion. Also, Into the Void is very easy to play around. Just be aware that you you have it. Then it's easy to play around. That's the deck. Hope you guys enjoyed the deck. If you've got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. Make sure if you guys are a little bit confused to check out Patreon down below. You guys can learn every, absolutely everything you need about Patreon and how to play. You got gameplay every single day. Go sign up. Lastly, Pendulum Playmats on TripGaming.com. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed this awesome Pendulum video. Doesn't matter how many interruptions our opponent will have. We will always find a way to OTK. That is the beauty of going second with Pendulums. We have 10 monsters on board at any given time that we want. It's too easy. I do want to mention right now that if you guys love this type of video and want to get better at the Master Duel game, don't forget, guys, for real, Patreon got incredible content. I spent a lot of time on it. You guys will love it. We got Tier 0 and Tier 1 Patreon Duelists. Go check it out, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.